Hey, it's Jake and Paula, and we're back again with another video. I'm taking the lead on this one. I wrote the script on this one. <laughs> so no more of this uh, Paula Town puppet, puppet, puppeteer. Uh, Jake wrote the script. This is going to be a good video. Probably going to get more likes than any of Paula's videos. So here we go. Today we're going to talk about uh, the high, highest and best use of a property and the strategies we look at when any property comes across our desk. We'll look at um, possible strategies for it. So the first thing I like to look at, I'll let Paula catch up here, is zoning. So you take the property, look at the zoning. What, how many allowable dwelling units are allowed? Uh, so here in London, R1, uh, that would typically be a single family and then you're allowed an SDU. Uh, R2 would be a duplex, R3 is triplex and fourplex. But the, the big thing you have to look at with the, uh, with the zoning, especially for the, the, two, the R2 and the R3, is the zoning requirements. So your lot frontage, lot area, and area per dwelling. So yeah, because you could have a, like a lot that's designated R2. So you're like, ah, oh, duplex. But when you break it down and you go through the bylaw, it, yeah. it doesn't conform because you know a duplex lot needs to be 15 meters or 12 meters or whatever it is. And maybe it's only nine meters. Yeah, the majority of lots in London for your R2 and your R3 are non-conforming. Uh, meaning you need a minor variance to, to actually add the units that you need. But another thing you can look at, uh, a little more lenient in the zoning is a converted dwelling. Uh, so that'll occur say in a R3 zoning where you're allowed up to four units, you'll have an existing dwelling, uh, which can be converted into four units. And then just um, the, the zoning is a little more lenient on that as far as frontage and area. Um, so the next thing I like to look at is lot size. So with lot size, uh, you know, is there, is there a potential to sever it? Can you sever it into two lots? Whether that be with one, the remaining house on one side and then an empty lot on the other side, or tear down the house that's in the middle and make two, two lots. Uh, another thing I like to look at with lot size uh, in R2 zoning in London is if you're allowed to do, to build semi-detached. So in London, that'll be an R2 zoning uh, with a width uh, frontage of 18 meters. And with that, you could build a semi-detached with two SDUs, essentially providing uh, four units. Uh, so that's for lot size. The other thing we like to look at are just SDUs. So does the property work with a secondary dwelling unit? Um, we made a video on that, you can check that out. Um, zoning is very lenient on SDUs in London, uh, but it'll be property specific whether it makes sense or not. Uh, another strategy we like to look at for the best use of the property is just to renovate and sell. And we really like to add value to the property, uh, especially how competitive the real estate market is, you need to add value. So whether that be an addition, moving a kitchen and making it bigger, adding a bathroom, adding a second story, you just definitely want to add value and increase the ARV of that property. And the last thing that we like to look at is something that I look at all the time, but I've yet to do, it's my goal for 2021, is tear down a property and build something purpose built. So we're not building uh, single family homes to sell to other people. Uh, we would be looking at building a purpose built uh, multiplex or a purpose built single family home with a secondary dwelling unit in it. And the benefit to this is it's new, it's purpose built. Uh, if you're putting an SDU in the basement, you have nine foot ceilings, you have all your utilities separated from the start. It's just easier than retrofitting uh, an existing property. And depending on the, the acquisition price, it could end up being cheaper than buying a property and retrofitting it. Yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Tune in next time and thanks again.